Hi guys, it's Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming. And um, I went to Joann's, um, and I don't know why I went to Joann's, but I went to Joann's and I got some stuffs. And um, uh, so yeah, would you like to see what I got? It was, um, I don't think I bought well, I did buy some stuff that wasn't on sale, even yarn, but that's all right. Um, I've been wanting to get this really, really cool color of um, Big Twist, the value yarn, and I did get it, and it is just so awesome. I know you guys will like it. It's that really bright coral color. Yeah, there we go. Um, I got three of these. They were on clearance for... Um, $2.97, and then there was an additional 25% off. Um, they had five of them, and I should go back and get the last two um, if they still have them, but I am not sure if I will or not. So um, I at least have three of them. Aren't they a gorgeous, gorgeous color? I love it. I um, have no clue what I'm gonna make, uh, maybe a lap gown for myself. Um, I have no clue. Yeah, who knows? All right, I got these three. Um, then, um, they had this one color of Hometown um, on sale. And it is a six, um, super bulky. Oh, I guess I could tell you, wait a minute, let's go back to the big twist, because I didn't tell you anything about it, but it's a big twist, it's 100% acrylic, um, and the color is coral, and, um, oh, hello, persniffers, and it says to me, I need six to make a blanket, um, there are 380 yards but, uh, I mean, I can make a lap blanket with these three um, instead of making a big blanket with six. Or I could go back and find out if there's enough to make a big blanket with. I don't know. But it's a medium weight number four. And um, so, yeah, I can make, well, I can make a sweater with three for maybe a small person and then a scarf and a hat. They each need one. I'd have never seen a hat take 380 something yards. Alrighty, so there's that. You know, um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I might have to go back and look and see if they have any more of this. Um, my friend Lynn and I are going to knit, and yes, I said knit. Madonna, Close your ears, just close your ears. Um, I am going to knit a blanket. And um, it called for number six yarn. And um, I have three six. You know, I might need to go and see if they have four more of these still at the sale price. The sale price was, uh, I think it was $4. Um because I can use this. We need a uh, super chunky six. Is that or super bulky chunky um, number six? And I like this color better than the other color that I have that I, and I've had for years. Um, hmm. Hmm. I might have to go back. Uh, no, I'm going to use what I have. Okay, all right, so I have six of these, and it's um, Hometown from Lion Brand, and this is San Diego Navy. Blue is, oh, okay, okay, my favorite color is orange, and then my favorite, my second favorite color is neon. My third is blue, so um, blue, yes, I love this blue. It is 100% acrylic. It's a super bulky number six, five ounces and 81 yards. And I have six of these. Isn't it beautiful? It was the only color that was on sale. And I don't know why. So, yes, there are um, six of these. 
And um, I got two each of these. I've never tried these before. Um, but they are um, Big Twist, and it's called Glam, Big Twist Glam. There's 261 yards, 3.5 ounces. Um, and this color is uh, Dusty Blue. And that is about the right color. It does have um, sequins in it. Yeah, there you can see, and there's one right there. Um, I've never used this before, um, and it's a new to my Joann's yarn, so I'm kind of excited to try it. I got two of the blue, and I got two of uh, the yellow, and the yellow color is called um, Sunshine Yellow. Um, so, yeah, I got these two. I just thought they were pretty. And a yellow is my um, fifth favorite color. Yeah. Orange, neon, no, blue, and then yellow. Yeah. Alrighty. So there are those two. They're both a number four. And uh, I'd say a thin four. I can't get just one. There we go. Oh, you can't see that on my flipping fingernail. I'd say it's a thin four, but that's me. There we go. Yeah, I say a thin four. Okay, now, I did go, like I always do, I went a little magazine crazy and book crazy. Um, and I saw this and I had to get it, um, for, um, this scarf right here, the bear scarf. And, um, it is right here. And I'm thinking I can use that chunky, that blue chunky right there. It calls for a number four, um, but, you know, um, uh, Hockey colors are blue and gold, and um, Nanooks, which are polar bears, are white. So I could make this uh, blue and gold and put a white polar bear right there. Probably wouldn't be nice and chunky. It's calling for a number four. Um, but it is so cute. So um, I bought this book because of that pattern right there. And there are, let's see, there's um, there's an alpaca or a llama. There's the bear, uh, a wolf, and an elk, I think is what they call it. Um, they also have uh, a horse. That is supposed to be an octopus. I don't think it looks anything like an octopus. Um, a frog and a giraffe. So um, those are the different patterns that are in this book. There's eight of them, and there's all eight of them right there. Alrighty, so that's one book that I got. I don't want to, um, let me put that over here. Persephone is sleeping on the chair. My other one I got um, was the Farmhouse Mug Mats. And I love all of these. Um, I love the chicken one right here. I'm going to make some of those. I'm going to make some of the kitty cats. Um, I'm going to make one of these chicken ones. What is this one? Uh, I'm going to make a sheep one and the dragonfly and some hearts. So I got this to make a whole bunch of different ones. Okay, so let me put this one right here too. Um, it's hard for me to find the Crochet World magazines. Um, so, um, I did find August 22, Crochet World. And, um, there are a couple of patterns in here, um, that I was looking, um, to do. And one of them is this, uh... Let's see, on page 32, let's see if 
I can find page 32. I thought this little table runner right here was kind of pretty. So I thought about making that one. And then um, on page 50, it's a little, it's a, it's called Going Round in Circles Rug. And there it is right there. I thought that was kind of cool too. I'm trying not to show the pattern. But there's that right there. So, um, yeah. So those are a couple of things that I saw in that one. Um, I did get a 3D granny square. You know I hate granny squares. But um, I have an ulterior motive. And um, I'm not going to say why I have an ulterior motive yet. But um, I do. Because I don't want anybody to steal my ulterior motive for this particular purchase. But you guys know I hate granny squares, but I did buy um, this 3D granny square. And they have a Santa, they have a turkey, um, a starfish, and a turtle. Um, let's go. Here we go. A llama. I'm just going through some of them real quick. Um, an apple. So lots and lots of different ideas. And I have some ideas, even though I hate granny squares. Okay, so, um, and then I found this Defining Crochet, crochet book. And I found a pattern in here that I thought would be interesting. And um, let's see if I can get it. I don't want to get a paper cut because those suckers hurt. And um, it's called the Wanderer Rwanda. And um, I haven't gone over the actual um, stitches, but I thought that was kind of cool looking, and, um, it's something that I'm going to look at. Yeah. All righty, so that's that book. Um, and then I got this Simply Crochet one to, um, to look at, and they had a, you know, a whole bunch of different, um, stuff in there. But I was actually looking at these, um, these right here. You can put, you know, hang tea lights up. And I just thought that was really cool. So I thought about, you know, making some to hang, a, hang up in here. Alrighty, so that's that one. Alrighty. I did not find anything in this one. Um... But that's all right. It was attached to another magazine. Okay, so this is another one I got. Easy Crochet Projects. Okay. Um, I do hang out my clothes in the summer to dry. So I thought about this um, clothespin bag. I liked it a lot. I thought it was cute. And then the other one that I thought about uh, was this Christmas stocking right there. Oops, there went my piece of paper. Uh, yep, yeah. so I think there are 44 different patterns in this book, or maybe 45. I can't remember. There are quite a few. There are a lot, a lot, a lot of amigurumi. There are 45 patterns in this book. A lot of amigurumi. All righty. Now, if you, oops. If you have stayed with me this long, um, you guys know that I tend to buy things that I already have. And um, this book is no different. I was looking at it going, you know, I could have sworn I've seen this before, and um, I was correct. I already have this book. And um, so I'm going to give this book away. So if you're interested in receiving this book, um, I like this. Um, and I'll just show you a couple of things in it. There's this primrose um, jar or, you know, cup cozy, pretty thing. 
I thought that was kind of cool. Um, it's called a Primrose Jar Wrap. I have another piece of paper in here somewhere. Um, definitely not on that pattern. Maybe it's this one. Oh, yes. Um, I thought of Madonna. You know, if you guys, whoever wins this will have to make this for Madonna. Um, it is, look at this bright neon green table runner. I thought that was pretty cool. I know Madonna would love that. Um, let's see what else I marked on here. Uh, I think this is it. No, maybe the next page. Oh, here's a shawl. That's kind of pretty. Oh, and you guys know I wear do-rags. And I thought, oops, I lost the, the other page, so I don't know what it was that I was doing. So look at those cute little kids. They don't have a real do-rag, but, you know, it's all right. doesn't have to be a real one. Um, I don't know if I can find the last thing that I was... I don't know. Okay, so here's all the different patterns. There, there are quite a few. Um, let's see, we'll do it this way. There's four, and there's some more, and then there's some more, and there's some more. All right, so let's go to this side. There we go. And then there's those. So, this is, um, <laughs> it says Crochet World presents creative crochet in a day. Um, there might be one thing that I could do in a day, and that's perfectly fine. Um, but if you're interested in winning this, um, it's opening, um, what is today? The 25th, um, July 25th, and it will close on, let me see, August something. If I can get it, um, uh, nope, I lied. It will close, oh, uh, yes, I, I did not lie. It's open July 25th, and it will close on, um, August 1st. Only thing you have to do is, um, put in a day on, or uh, in your comment. So, if you're interested in winning this, um, make sure you write the words in a day in your comment. Alrighty. Um, thanks for watching guys. Um, I will talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.